All right, today I'm gonna be talking about Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Mystery Flesh Pit National Park started as just a concept or idea started by this guy, uh, Strange Vehicles on Reddit, also known as Trevor Roberts in real life. And what he did, he created this story, this world that is Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. And it all, this story basically starts with like this oil tycoon guy who stumbles upon this giant creature buried underground in Texas. And so he calls out his buddies and after a few years, they get this one company, Anodyne, involved. That's where this hat comes from. And so, Anodyne kind of takes over the operations, and what they do eventually is turn this thing into a national park, because who wouldn't? So, they, they, they turn it into a national park to kind of protect it, protect, like, what natural resources could be taken from this thing, and they do that, and eventually they turn it into basically an amusement park, where you can, where you can basically, like, go down inside of this thing, and basically just go on tours, walking through it, and it's insane, but there's, there's a lot of effort and thought put into it, which is amazing, just the amount of detail that's gone into this project, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the story behind it. So, they turn it into a theme park of sorts, and then after they do that, they profit, obviously. But then comes 2007, 4th of July. What happened on the 4th of July in 2007 was that basically there was a fireworks show that they were going to do, because that's what you do on the 4th of July, but it was raining, so they had to cancel it. So, in compensation of canceling this fireworks show that a bunch of people paid for, they instead just opened the park for an extra few hours, because the park normally closes at 8 o'clock, so they decided to instead leave it open until like 12, I'm pretty sure, to compensate for the people who paid for the fireworks show, but that got canceled. So this leads to um, so, people were, you know, in the park, obviously, and by the time 8 o'clock comes around, the park doesn't shut down, obviously, because they leave it open, and some something goes wrong, you know. So, water starts, like, leaking into this creature that they're inside of, and the pumps that are supposed to, like, drain it out uh, aren't working, and nothing gets alerted, and there's no emergency buttons that go on, emergency lights, because uh, the park should be closed, and there's, like, nothing on, so no one knows this is happening. And by the time they figure out that something is wrong, it's basically too late because water is basically just flowing into this creature. And soon, eventually, it basically starts to cough. It wakes up. This giant godlike creature of immense size wakes up and starts to cough 
because water is basically draining into it and everything goes wrong because that's what happens. So it, it starts coughing and this complex that they built inside of it basically just gets like squished. And yeah, a lot of things go wrong after that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really not good. So after the incident of the 4th of July, 2007, uh, they closed down the park, you know, because I don't think a bunch of people dying at your mystery flesh pit theme park is good for business. So they close it down and Anodyne basically takes over and they just kind of block it off to the general public. And that's the story of Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.